What's up guys? You read the title, you know why you're here. So I decided to do a Thursday night double feature. I saw the BFG first and then I saw the Purge. Really interesting Thursday. So the movie's basically about a kid named Sophie and how she becomes friends with the big friendly giant. It's a pretty well known book. Pretty sure I had it read to me a bunch of times when I was a kid. You probably did too. Let's get all the positive stuff out of the way. The first and probably the best thing about the movie, visually this movie is incredible. You can really see how far we've come when it comes to technology. Now most of the giants, they still have a little bit of a sheen to them so you can kind of tell that they're still CGI. But today's CGI is making digital images look so close to reality that it's insane. And the BFG's house was really, really, really cool looking. It was really colorful and there was a lot of cool stuff like kind of just like strewn about his house, but it wasn't so colorful that it looked overtly vibrant. Like the colors are not like totally in your face that it's like annoying. It's like they're muted just a little bit to the point where it's like, oh, this looks like it would be a real setting. Literally everything about this movie looked amazing. There are some parts where the BFG is trying to like blend into like the cityscape. You see him cover up lights and just like hide in the shadows or he'll camouflage himself as something else. Like, it's really cool. That opening shot of the BFG is insanely good. And they're not messing around with him either. Like, literally two minutes into the movie, he's there, and then you just go off. And of course, Academy Award winner Mark Rylance, just awesome as the BFG. He did a great job. I can't think of anybody else that they could have gotten to play this part so well. He did have some silly moments, but it was just like, this is a kid's movie, so you kind of expected that. And there's a lot of silly moments just with all the rest of the Giants in general, but I'll get to that. And the little girl who played Sophie, uh, I don't know her name, but she did a great job. Like, Spielberg did did really well with trying to get her to get good performances. But that's really nothing new. If you've seen E.T. or Jurassic Park, he knows how to get inexperienced actors to give really good performances. He's really good at that. For some reason. Maybe it's because he's been directing for 40 years. I don't know. And I'd say about 80% of the movie probably is just Sophie and the BFG just kind of like hanging out, getting to know each other, getting to be friends, blah, blah, blah. And you know, as expected, it's, you know, it's fun. It's cute. It's like family friendly. It's Spielberg. He knows how to do this kind of stuff. But therein lies a bit of a fault with the movie because this really is geared towards kids. Like, it's very obvious. Obvious. Like, this is not an incredible situation. Like, this is not a movie for adults that kids will appreciate. It's the opposite of that. But there's not as much appreciation if the movie's geared towards kids, if that makes any sense. Because there's certain elements of the movie, like the rest of the giants, which they do have a couple of funny moments, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there was a couple times where I was laughing, but for the most part, they're just kind of, like, there to be silly and stupid and make the kids laugh. Like, it's not really, that's not for me. And there was a lot of other, like, humor points in the movie where you're just like, oh, they're trying to be funny right now, but it's, like, totally for the kids. Like, it's a little slapsticky and it's a little gross-out humor like just random stuff like that. So the movie was funny, but in a very limited capacity. And about two thirds of the way through the movie, there's kind of a big like tonal shift with the movie and to where they go, like away from giant country, which I was just kind of like, well, where did that come from? That came out of left field. But then after I reread the plot of the book on Wikipedia, I'm like, oh no, that's following the book. Never mind. So I kind of gave it a pass on that one, but I'm just like, I still don't know where that came from. So like I said, this is mostly a movie that's geared towards kids, families, probably more, a little bit more towards the younger generation. But there is a little bit for the parents. Like there's a lot to marvel at, especially visually, and there's a couple of laughing points that's kind of like just universally funny, so it's not all for the kids. But hey, you know, it was fun, it was enjoyable, it was wholesome, it was lighthearted. It was a good time at the movie theater, but it just wasn't like geared towards me, so I couldn't enjoy it as much. But I'm not saying it's a bad movie. Not at all. It looks fantastic. So for rating, I'm thinking about 7.4 is probably a good number. Because yeah, the movie's for the kids, but even then, it's still got some redeemable qualities, and it wasn't a bad time at the movie theater. Like, it was fun, you know? So, I recommend it. Alright guys, that's my two cents for the day. Hope it was worth it. If you saw the movie, cool. Cool. leave a comment. If you like the review, like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. And I will catch you guys later.